can Minecraft be beaten without using a keyboard? The short answer is yes, it has been done before. But everyone before me just super glued a keyboard to their mouse and called it a mouse. Well, they remapped the keyboard buttons, but same idea. This really disappointed me. I wanted to see if a pure mouse-only run was possible. No remapping, no nonsense, no glitches. Left click, right click, middle click. That's it. Would that even be possible? How would you move? How would you open your inventory or craft anything? It was up to me to find out. So I started up my stream and gave it my best shot. Let's see if it's possible. Before the challenge started, I removed every single keyboard keybind. Don't want to accidentally bump the keyboard and cheat, right? I hopped into my first attempt where I managed to get into a seed right next to a pillager outpost, which was perfect. Starting this challenge, I obviously can't move and I can't even open my inventory. So what's the first step even? Let's die and respawn because we need well, this isn't good enough. The first step in a keyboardless challenge is figuring out a way to just open the inventory to craft things. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. This could be it. This could be it. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. No! No, 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 no. As far as I'm aware, the only way to start crafting is to already have a pre-existing crafting table, which is why the pillager outpost was so perfect. I just needed the right respawn to get the proper resources near the thing. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. This is this is the exact thing we needed. Two, three. We got it, we got it. Um boom, boom, boom. We've made a bed. After 17 minutes of dying and respawning, I had finally used the crafting table to make something. A bed. But crafting a bed just leads to another issue. How do you close out of the crafting menu to use it? The only solution I could come up with was to die. I waited five whole minutes just for a pillager to find me and end me. But now I only had five minutes to get back to the bed before it despawned. Wait, we could totally get to the bed with this. Yeah, yeah, you push us. Sideways, push us to the side. Holy crap, this is the one, this is the one, chat. Yes! Yes! Where's our bed? Where's our bed? Where's our bed? We did it! Oh my god! Oh my god! After much pain, I set my spawn beside the crafting table and could craft anything that was in reach. It wasn't an elegant solution, though. After five minutes, I really hadn't accomplished anything. It was awful. And then the most important discovery in this entire run happened. Okay, wait, someone in chat just made a suggestion. Oh my god! Touchscreen mode lets you click out of menus! This made crafting significantly easier. And probably cut 100 hours off of this challenge. But I had pressed the escape key and used the keyboard. So I reset the seed to try again. I recrafted a bed immediately, then tried to craft a boat, only to encounter a new problem. Touchscreen mode is so freaking weird. You have to like click and drag to do anything. I can't make a boat because I haven't unlocked it and I can't type in boat either. As it turns out, it's very awkward separating stacks in touchscreen mode. Make stick, one, two, here, uh, top left of the inventory. Stairs are probably better. Yeah, 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 stairs are better, okay. After another 10 minutes, I finally managed to craft boats. This boat endeavor was a mistake. Can you right click from boat to boat? Cause if you can right click from one boat to another, then we have something. You can. So you get into one boat and you punch the other one. Oh God, wait, I can't look behind me. I can't get the boat! Not only can you not punch boats behind you, but you can't even get out of the boat you're in without some way to destroy it. So, boats really weren't the play. And it was back to the drawing board. The pillagers were getting really annoying, so I scrapped that seed and tried a different one that started in a spruce village, which also has crafting tables in certain houses. Since I couldn't move and couldn't easily die with this one, I just reset the seed for 20 minutes until I spawned next to the village fountain. Wait, we might be able to use water to move there. We need to get to that house. We're getting closer. Please, be the crafting table house. Okay, respawn point set, and we got crafting. After an hour and 35 minutes, I had wooden tools. Until I made a dumb mistake and had to restart, but I got it all back and set my next goal. Come here, bro, come here! Yes, he says, the zombie's coming? Come here, come here, come here! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! Yes! Wait, we'll let, we'll let the zombie do it. The zombie died! Or the, the, the golem died? The zombie killed him! We have iron! Let's craft the bucket. If we can just get to that. Can we reach the fountain water maybe? Oh my god, wait. Oh, 
We have a water bucket! We have water! With just two hours of problem solving, we had figured out how to open and close my inventory, craft, and found a reliable way to move around. It was very slow, but it was a start. Using the water bucket and slabs, I could really move anywhere in the overworld I wanted, as long as I was extremely methodical with my movement. If I got stranded anywhere without my water bucket or a crafting table in my hotbar, I was screwed. I couldn't just hide out in this village the entire challenge, so it was time to embark on an adventure. One that required immense patience. It took me two hours to travel 800 blocks to another village that was conveniently nearby, and this village was far better than the first. It had a blacksmith. It's right here. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no. Okay, we're fine. There's a chest around here somewhere. There it is! A chest! Looking in this chest, what would you guess was the item I was looking for? The apples? The gold? No, of course not. But it's not the iron of the obsidian either. It's the saddle. This saddle would be my salvation. Not for riding horses, but for riding pigs. I needed a few more items before it was useful though. So I killed the golem here too, to make an extra bucket and a flint and steel. Found a carrot in the farms and only needed string to solve all my problems. So I just had to wait until night for spiders. In the meantime, I set up a very messy trading station with the villagers using fletchers to turn sticks into emeralds. This sucked by the way. Remember, hut screen mode was still on and unfortunately, the fastest way to craft was to click and drag four sticks at a time. I spent the rest of my day demolishing every village house for wood, and began trading with a toolsmith for some better tools. As that Minecraft day ended, I had one major dilemma. I had real-life dinner plans. I couldn't just leave Minecraft running, right? So to quit out of Minecraft, I waited five minutes for an autosave and unplugged my computer. I started the stream the next day, rejuvenated and ready to beat this thing. I spent another two and a half hours cutting trees, crafting sticks, trading emeralds, till I had diamond tools. During this time, I also collected the two string I needed for a fishing rod, but you're not gonna like how I had to to get it. I'm sorry, Chad, it must be done. I need the string. It was all for the string, Chad. I decided it was too dangerous to let mobs spawn at night, so my only choice was to sacrifice the village cats. We turned cats into a fishing rod. It's the beauty of Minecraft. With the carrot on a stick ready to go and a saddle itching to be used, the only thing left was to locate a pig. <gasps> Come here. Does he not see it? Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah! Where are the pig? Woo! This is a sprint compared to what we had before. Oh my god. There's no durability usage? If you don't right click, it doesn't use durability. After eight hours of gameplay, I finally had a reliable, easy way to move around. That didn't mean the challenge was over yet, though. It was only the beginning. I still needed ender pearls, I still needed to enter the nether, and I still needed blaze rods. But most importantly, before all else, I needed to give our new companion a name. We're naming him Refrigerator, because our refrigerator is in fact running. For the ender pearls, I decided killing Enderman was too dangerous, and trying to trade with piglins was a death sentence. So I figured I would wander around the overworld until I stumbled upon a brewing stand to trade a villager for ender pearls. While exploring, I happened to find a ruined portal, which I harvested a bunch of obsidian from to use for later. To make my journey a bit faster, I did start using the boost with the carrot on a stick a bit, but but I had plenty of carrots and could just attach a new carrot whenever I needed, as long as I left the spare crafting tables in my hotbar. Now we have a regular fishing rod. Wait a minute. Where's my crafting table? Now, luckily, all wasn't lost yet. I still had a water bucket in my hotbar, so I started to use that. Until... Where did my water go? I had a rare visual bug. A ghost bucket that displays the contents of a bucket incorrectly. I didn't even have water anymore. No pig, no water, no movement. Remember, I couldn't use my keyboard here, so I can't get off of refrigerator or drop any items. And refrigerator wouldn't move at all without a carrot on a stick. In a moment of weakness, I tried to dismount refrigerator by killing it. I shot arrows in to the sky, but they only hit me, which knocks some sense into me. I know these are dire circumstances, but taking refrigerator's life after all we've been through? Despicable. Instead, I realized I could use the bed to get off of fridge, so I waited till night and hopped into bed. I didn't want to risk any mob spawning, so I let the sleep animation finish and started the next day. Hopefully, by the time I woke up, I'd be just close enough to reach the water source. The pig is pushing me!
The go the water isn't there! I was haunted by the ghost bucket yet again. And now, there was absolutely nothing I could do. I couldn't even reach my bed anymore. My death was inevitable. Once night hit, mobs would spawn, and this challenge would be over. Or, I could take things into my own hands. I wasn't gonna let a stinking zombie ruin my run. So, I did the unthinkable. I looked straight up and fired an arrow. I respawned on the bed. And immediately, something caught my eye. The crafting table. It was right there, closer than almost every other item. If I could just make it there. And lucky for me, the water that almost ended this challenge also saved it. I dug a channel, rerouting the flowing water to push me directly into my items. What's in our hotbar? The crafting table! With the crafting tables back in my hotbar, I was able to recraft a carrot on a stick, remount refrigerator, collect my things, and save the run. A mistake we will never make again, chat. Soon after that, the universe rewarded my perseverance with an igloo that had a basement, one of the few Minecraft structures containing a brewing stand. So I dug down, grabbed it, and... Oh, wait. <laughs> How do I get back out? Nah, I'm just messing with you. Pigs and climb ladders. There was a village nearby too, and after a quick two and a half hour trading session, I had three stacks of ender pearls. There was nothing left in the overworld now. I had to enter the nether to collect blaze rods. Using the obsidian I collected on my adventures, I built a portal. I didn't light it yet though. I had a tough decision to make. If I entered the nether and traveled around using fridge, it was almost a guarantee that he would somehow perish into a pork chop while pursuing blazes. We had built a strong bond on our grand journey thus far, and I just would be devastated if we lost him. I made the difficult decision to leave him behind. I would be entering the nether and navigating to the blazes completely alone. So I lit the portal and went for it. Okay, we're in a fortress. I'd made it to the nether and right onto a fortress. First try. Without fridge, I only had a few methods to move around. I started by placing boats, then destroying them with the flint and steel, which did work, but I got too impatient and just started whipping pearls until I located a blaze spawner. I'm pearling in. No fear, chat. Nope, sometimes. You just gotta go for it, chat. Killing blazes was a terrifying experience. Without fridge around, I was a sitting duck. One wrong move and I could get trapped next to a blaze and burned to death. This is so dangerous. I should not have done this. I got myself trapped in a corner with six blazes just out of reach. I regret this immensely. My shield is almost broken. With only moments left before my shield broke, I built a defense as fast as I could and by some miracle was still alive. After that, I employed a much safer strategy of opening a door than bowing blazes down until there was a buildup of rods. I purled in, I purled out. Once I had secured six rods, I purled back to my portal and re-entered the overworld. We're fine, we're making it out. <laughs> okay. We made it! It was time for the final phase of the challenge, finding the stronghold and killing the Ender Dragon. I just needed to get back on Fridge and... Come here, Fridge! Hey! Hey! Fridge! Fridge! Come back! No! Fridge had wandered away, and I used all my spare Ender Pearls in the nether. Fortunately, I did have my trusty water bucket in my hotbar. What happened to my water? Wait, I can't! It's not letting me pick up water! Ah! Fridge! Wait a minute. I'm in the center of a block! I was stuck in the water for a bit, but come on. You didn't think some knee-deep water was gonna be a roadblock after all this, right? I messed around a bit, escaped the river, and slithered my way over to Fridge. Refrigerator! Hey! Ah! No, not you. Refrigerator! We were supposed to beat the game together. Let's do it, buddy. All right. It's time. We now get to beat the game. Now I guess we find out which direction we go. That way. Nice. On the way there, I sheared some sheep for some wool to kill the dragon with, and after about an hour or so of wandering around, I located the approximate area of the stronghold and began to dig down. Very carefully, mind you. With that, the only remaining thing to do was beat the game. <sighs> go, 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 go. We got this. Is it perching? It's perching right now. Okay. That's interesting, and I need to run away before it runs into me and I just immediately die. Wait, wait, that's a perch. This side. Come on! Let's go, wait! Wait, no! Refrigerator, I can't get out! No! No! We left refrigerator! 
We won, but at what cost? After 16 hours, I finally beat Minecraft without using the keyboard, but refrigerator didn't make it.